where he's going at. Mm-hmm. You know, like um, when I think about, you know, the whole scenario, I think about those songs from like the 80s, like Part Time Lover, you know, <laughs> Secret Lovers. I mean, a lot of people are in relationships and they think it's just the two of them. And um, there's another person involved. And, you know, you don't know about it. Is it the two or is it the three of us? Um, that can never be a good scenario. Um, it's not going to end well because it's, it's so many things that can, you know, play into that. You know, um, trust, integrity, you know, but... So many instances where that going to be the two of us and another person on the side. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. That's... Yeah. I mean, some people do. Some people like sharing. I would say sharing because what you—that's mm-hmm. what you're really doing. Mm-hmm. And you sharing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Some people could. Mm-hmm. Some people could to deal. They can deal with other people sharing. Some people will say, well, you know, if you do get a sad chick or a sad man, I don't want to hear about it. Don't let it come up. If I hear about it or a neighbor's hear about it, they come up and, you know, you're gone. But some people are dealing with it. Yeah, some people do. And if you're dealing with it, you're dealing with the consequences that come along with it. Yeah. Right. Okay. She a sad chick. She a sad Yeah. Or he a sad man, okay. What about the third person? The third person could have another person that's they sad chick or they sad man, you know. So you don't know. If you accept them two, then the other one gonna have hers, his or hers gonna have a sad chick or a sad man, and then it's really not he she and me, it's he she me and we and them. <laughs> You know, I was, about, I was about to say something, but I, um, I'm, I was sure that, I was about to say something, but I, I think I'm going to hold off on that. <laughs> I said, I was sure I was about to say something, but you said to me, she, he, and them. Because <laughs> it's a, uh, for better words, it sounds like a groupy situation. <laughs> I mean, when do you, when do you go in to to deal with uh, to deal with it? Like you said, some people just just play it off or just deal with it, just roll with the punches. Or they whatever. accept it, yeah. Some people, but yeah, some people do accept it. But we all know majority, fifty percent. I don't think that much, but some people do accept it. But we know the average person won't accept that. Uh huh. Okay, they want to accept the, the second party, a third party, mm-hmm. you know, a fourth party. You know, yeah. They want you for them. They want to accept all that. So uh, that's how you deal with it. If you don't accept it, then you go on to your way and you go on and they go on their way. You don't have, you know, you need that partner alone if you got to have a me, she, and them. I ain't going to say he because. It's a damn, because if it's a chick or a man on the side, <laughs> they gonna have a chick or a man on the side, so it's damn. Mm. He, me, and damn. So <laughs> I'd be damn if I could mess with them, so you know you leave <laughs> 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 Just leave them alone. Just leave them alone. If you're not willing to accept that, mm. it's not acceptable. That's 
you should do. I but, but for those who are yeah, uh, uh, enjoy it, yeah. <laughs> you said those yeah. who enjoy it. I see what she's saying about <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, but I see. I see what she's saying about them because when you really do think about it, if you the side chick and you know you the side chick, um, it don't make sense for you to tie yourself down with that guy when you are his side chick. More than likely, you are gonna have you a side piece too. So I see where she's going with that. Oh, uh huh. Yeah. 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 And that's what makes it fair. Mm. Hmm. And that's what makes it them. <laughs> yeah. Mm. But you know what I what I be seeing <laughs> quite a lot of times is somebody got somebody on the side and 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 when they have that somebody on the side, they make a big issue that that their original mate that that's the that's the the original, that's the prime the prime. Not the one on mm -hmm. the side, not the sidekick. They make a demands that the main one better not go out and have them somebody on the side. Mm. Uh oh. Well, yeah, y'all. Yeah, anybody? Anybody ever heard of that one? <laughs> yeah, you know, have you heard of that? You know, I better not catch you out there cheating. <laughs> and they, the main one, doing it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's time. To, it's time to get rid of that shit, Zero. If it happened like that, yeah, it's time to get rid of them. Mm. That ain't no love. But babies, I love mm -hmm. you, know you dog. Mm. You can't love me and hump somebody else. <laughs> no, that's not right. Mm. Well, I. I you gotta think right. about it. If you, if you. But if you think that you're in a committed relationship. And you find out, now that's when it's different. If you are, if you're thinking that you're in a committed relationship, just the two of y'all, and then there's a third person that comes into the scene, you know, then there's an issue. When you walk into that relationship knowing that, you know, it's not just going to be the two of y'all, then that's a totally different thing. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times people think that they're in a committed relationship with one person and then find out that it's a side chick. It's a them, you know, on, on that other side. And and that's just not cool. You know, why even why even do that? Why even go through that? You know, if you don't want that person, if you don't want to only be with that person, then you should be honest enough to have that conversation. And let them know. Now, if you choose to tiptoe around, because what happens is, if you tiptoeing around, there are other things that can come out of that. Like somebody could get hurt mm -hmm. mentally or physically, emotionally, behind something like that. You know, so I don't. What I fail to understand is why people are not just honest and just say, you know, I want to see other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that ain't accounting. That ain't accounting. Venereal diseases, pregnancy, and everything else. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be and you right. <laughs> and you right. Mm. You don't want to catch nothing get nothing that you weren't born with. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's all. <laughs> yeah, that's all in having he, me, she, and them. I'm going to say them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. Whatever, but I'm gonna say damn because, uh, like mm -hmm. we were talking in uh, for other shows, once you have that person, once you share your essence with that person, that person mm -hmm. shared his essence with how many people that you shared your essence with, and how many people that he shared his essence mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. uh, That's right. Yeah. If, but if you into he, she, me, and them. Uh, you were in for a rude awakening because nothing could come out good. Like uh, Lady K said, nothing good could come out of that. Nothing but trouble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing but drama. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and if you uh, are... Go ahead. Even though, you know, some people think that they have that clear understanding with their partner, 
like Jay said, you know, as soon as, let's say it's the guy in the relationship and he's out with the side chick, he has a side chick, and Jay's right. As soon as that female in the relationship say, hey, I'm going to get me a side dude too, or what we call a maintenance man, remember that? Oh, yeah, the maintenance me? man. <laughs> when she get her side, when she, when she get her side man, then all of a sudden he's like, you, no, 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 don't do as I do, do as I say, you know. You know, that's, that's when that, that inequity comes into it. And is that fair? No, is that not. fair, you know? No. And then yeah. she needs she need to ask herself, why am I even here putting up with this? Because he can go out and have relations <laughs> with somebody else, but he's telling me I can't do it too. Well, For I mean, whatever reason. Yeah. But I mean, I, I'm seeing a lot of that really st going on. I, um, you know, I mean, yeah, there are strong women out there, but I'm also seeing a lot of, uh, you know, um, a lot of women who are not a sister soldier or a lady K. <laughs> um, but I, I do, and uh, yeah, we ain't um, putting up with that right there. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, That's because they are. They are desperate, and they want some. They a, a man have to have to have a man to complete them. They have to have a man in their life. They feel lonely. They don't feel love. So any attention that they get from a man, regardless if he had a wife, mistress, and fifty kids, they like that attention. Some women are, 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 are into that attention, but in several of our shows that we have did. When we said um, you really don't need that intention, you have to love yourself. Okay, if you love yourself, then you wouldn't have to go through the he, me, she, and them because you would not tolerate it. But you got some people like just just don't care. It's not as strong, and they just don't care. Mm -hmm. But they need to reevaluate themselves and say to themselves, "Do I love me?" Mm -hmm. Why do I put myself through this? Why right. am I, you know, why am I accepting this? Mm -hmm. So they have to wake mm -hmm. up. Then that's one. And then number two is, it's as short as the men. Because, you know, they're getting killed every day, <laughs> you know. So it's as short as the men, especially black men. Yeah. But mm. does that make us, just because it's as short as the men, in each state, it varies, but 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 just because it's the short of the men, do that make us acceptable to have um, to deal with somebody else having a man on the side? Um, no, it's not acceptable. And that's mm -hmm. when you, like I said, you have to reevaluate yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to reinvent yourself. Yep. And think about the stuff that you go. Why would you go through this? And all the consequences, you know, that, that goes with this. You have to weigh it out, the good and the bad. Hmm. And see, and that's part of it, too. Um, Sister Soldier, that's part of it. When we, we need to think about the consequences, you know, when sometimes when, quote unquote, our men do these things, you know, a woman can sit down and say, well, if you do this to me, then this is the consequence. And then she doesn't follow through, you know. And then so the next time that he does it, he feels as though he can do it mm -hmm. and he can get away with it because you didn't follow through with the consequences from the first time. Right. You All know, right. if you yeah. see it, I, I like to say, don't, don't, don't talk about it, walk about it. Mm -hmm. And if I'm going to say it, then I'm going to stand behind what I say. You know, if you step outside of this relationship, then there is no more relationship. It's no, you know, I know that may seem harsh, you know, and I understand, you know, you're supposed to forgive and forget and try to work it out. But at 40 something odd years of age, I'm not willing to um, play that game. You know, either you're going to be with me or you're not going to be with me. And if you feel the need to be with somebody else, then move on. Um, even when I was younger, I still felt that way. But a lot of people, I, I hear these young ladies talking, and, and they, they, they still got that play in them, you know, where, you know, they're going to 
if he cheat on me, I'm going to go out and I'm going to cheat on him. What good does that do? You know, what good does that do? Nothing. Mm. You know, other than now you're demeaning yourself mm. as a woman. Right. You know, a real woman treasures her body and her mind. And that's part of, you know, how I feel about it. If he will not honor me, I'm going to honor me. Straight up. Mm-hmm. Right, because you know, because you know what names they give us when we do like that. <laughs> it ain't, it ain't funny. Yeah. <laughs> they, they get a man the same name. Anyway, they give a man the same name. Jay, let's get your outfit on this. <laughs> Jay, let's get your outfit on this. Jay, let's get your outfit on this. I mean, I, you know, you yeah, said. Like I said, like I said, you know. Like you said. You have to. As a woman, I'm speaking from a woman's perspective, you have to honor yourself. I have family members that are male that <laughs> will tell a female up front, I like you, but understand this, you will not be the only woman in my life. And they're oh, very yeah. open and honest about that. And I was, yeah, and I was like, and they go for that? And he was like, yeah, you'd be surprised how many of them go for it. And I'm like, Wow. But it's true, you know, and they're <laughs> very honest about mm-hmm. it. They're like, I like you, you know, I care about you, but you will not be the only woman in my life. And they tell them that, and they accept that. And, and I've heard of and women. personally? Uh-uh. I, I've heard, I've heard testimony from women. Um, I agree that, that there, are, there are women that, that do do that because I've heard the testimony. And here's... And I was like, why? Why why mm-hmm. why did you accept it? Because he <laughs> because him saying that right up front made me feel listen to the, listen to how they I will say it, made me feel that he was <laughs> trustworthy and honest because he was oh, wow. up front in oh, the wow. beginning. And I'm like, really? <laughs> mm. I, I I was like, really? Trustworthy? Yes, because he wasn't holding nothing back, wasn't hiding nothing, was up front in the beginning to, to, be, to say point blank, uh, look, uh, you know, you ain't going to be the only one. You, I mean, you know, uh, there, there, <laughs> there will be others. I mean, you know, so they, they, they counted that person as trustworthy because, you know, it did, didn't seem like... Didn't seem like they yeah. were lying about anything or hiding anything. They were upfront about it. But what? But even though yeah. that, even though that person might be honest, does honest, does honesty also does it? Does it? Does, is it the foundation? Just because the person is honest, and I, I would give if that's the case. Okay, I will give the guy. And yeah, there's been a case of a woman too. I, I know about that too. But I, generally, it's a guy. I'll give the guy that credit that he was mm-hmm. honest. Okay, honest, open, and upfront. Okay, can't take that away from. Him. Now, but just because I, I hear what some women say that when you you know we we did what three internet datings. Um, and, and and all these profiles, mm-hmm. they be saying, "I want somebody looking for somebody honest, <laughs> open, and upfront." And <laughs> and you you see it on almost every profile. Um, strongly talking, well, we won't get into the person that goes to church. That's on there too. But the honesty, no lying, and upfront and open. That's <laughs> gotta that. Love God. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Gotta love God. Uh, you know. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, gotta love God. <laughs> yeah, gotta love God. Uh, and you know, you won't know you won't know that until you spend some time with them to see if they really love God. I mean, you know, that's a, that's also vice versa. That's also vice versa. You talk might be talking all that talk, women, but uh, but uh, you know, just like you said, Lady K, you got you got to show it. You got to show it. Um, but just because the guy was honest. Does is does that still present just because you're looking for honesty? Does that still present to a woman or to some women that that 
the acceptance for their degrading of their position. I, I just, I just, I, me personally, I don't see where where it justifies that. I, I, me personally, I don't. I don't see it either. No. I don't see it either. And and at once they accept that you have opened a door, you've opened Pandora's box, mm. um, to be treated badly. Mm. Uh, <laughs> you know, and and not to say that badly means necessarily the person being physical with you. I mean emotionally. You know, you may develop feelings for this person and he's still at the same place he was at when he met you. Because you will him. not be the only person in his life. Yeah. You know, and that's 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 bad. But you set yourself up for that. Yeah. You know, because you accepted that. You walked in the door. Um Lady K doesn't walk in that door. And I'm I feel certain that Sister Soldier doesn't walk in that door. You know, we and Jay don't walk in that door. It's just like this. You have to. Well, well you can't be right now. Mm, mm. But, but the thing is, is that, you know, and I see I see from the man's perspective, too, because there are some shady, some shady women out there. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. that's what look at his face. Mm-hmm. Look at his face. It's some shady women out there. Yeah. It's an agenda. Uh huh. Yeah, some shady women out there. They they have an agenda. Well, we did. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. it is what it is. <laughs> it's not forever, really. Mm-hmm. It is because. Uh, it's, it's happening today. People are doing it. People is accepting it. It's, but it's not easy accepting today as it was 50 years ago. But, uh, yeah, it's, you know, the subject is going on and on and on. But we also have to have a learning factor from the he, me, she, and them. Because uh, it's so many things that you can get out of it that you, like I said earlier, that you don't want. Okay? If you wasn't born with it, don't catch it. But anyway, <laughs> it make it, yeah. But it make it thousand for the next person. Say if a guy come and he's truly honest with you, but he don't sound honest. He didn't come up front with you and and but he won't play that he she me them games. And it just be you and him. But it'd be for harder for you to accept him because you so used to playing all the drama, playing these he, she, me, and damn games. So how would she know if it's, you know, he's the right one? Mm. Or he's, you know, truly honest with himself. Now, to, we cannot do nothing for the men or the women that play these games who haven't grown up, who, do, who haven't grew up, who don't love themselves enough to not accept the he, she, me, and them. Uh, the only thing we could do is try to talk to them. And some people just like drama, though. Some people just live for drama. They right, buy right. drama, they end drama, they begin right. drama. They just like mm-hmm. drama. Right. Me, myself, I, 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 yeah, I couldn't go through it. Yeah. Now, I... And even now, even now, like all of these, all of these television shows, you know, like right now, I'm thinking about shows like, like Snap, mm-hmm. you know. All of these shows have a triangle. Right. Him, her, him, her, her, him, whatever. They have a triangle. Very rarely yeah. ever on that show, yeah, do you ever see a situation where it's just the two of them battling in the relationship? It's always an outside party that gets involved. And then you like yeah. to watch all these crime shows and it's triangle after triangle after triangle. And it's what we see in the media is yeah, what we see on television and and in plays, triangle after triangle because it sells and it's interesting. But it's not interesting when you're the person that's in it and right. you're unaware, you know, that you are in it. Mm-hmm. That's the bad situation. Yes. It's when somebody yes. is in a situation like that and they are totally unaware yeah. that it's a, the two of us. Mm-hmm. Now you think it's the two of us, but it's actually the three of us. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Jay always says, and Sister Sunday says it too. 
it's always a sign. Yep. It's always a sign. You got to trust your good, that little voice in the back of your head. You know, you nobody is a perfect liar. And anybody that's in these type of situations where people are thinking that it's a two people in a relationship and it's actually three, that they're lying all the time. They have to. They have to. Mm-hmm. So your habits change. <laughs> your routine changes. Mm-hmm. Your disposition changes. Right. Um, the way you relate to the person changes. Something changes, and it may be a subtle change, but you should be so in tune that you pick up on that. Right. And I don't have a problem asking the question, um, what's, what's going on? Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> let's talk about yeah. this. I notice this. Mm-hmm. I will ask that question <laughs> because I want to know. Mm-hmm. I want to know. Because if it ever comes to the point where the two of us becomes the three of us. It's just going to be the one of me. I'm out. Yeah. And that's just and how I am. Yeah. One of my friends used to tell me. He tells me. I tell him I want to know. And no one has to battle. G.I. Joe. <laughs> yeah. But it's true if you think about it. What is, that's just a G.I. Joe. Yeah, I used to watch the cartoon when I was young. But anyway, if you think about it, when he said that, when he said that, he that he had to, to half the battle, mm-hmm. it's true because when you know stuff, you know you don't fight half the battle already because now you know. Mm-hmm. But not knowing at all mm-hmm. and fight the invisible battle, you will never win. Okay? Mm-hmm. So by knowing, you can fight that battle and you can always come on top. Right. When the yeah, when the, when you know the battle you fight, you can always come on top. Mm-hmm. But to sit there mm-hmm. and just accept something, oh, um, because you don't love yourself, or you feel so lonely, or you don't feel love. I think that's what the psychology. Do. I think that's the problem. I think when people do that, they they looking for love and they not finding it. That's what I think. If they don't love themselves, they probably don't know how to love themselves. And they don't and they don't find love in that relationship. The only thing they find is more heartache, more trouble, and more problems. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So in order for you to get rid of all that, you gotta love yourself. Mm-hmm. Well, Jay, what do you think about people that are in um polygamous type of relationships? Oh, in the polygamous uh, relationship. Before I, I, I found on that, folks, 931-220-7063. We want to hear from you. Um, and, and in regards to those polygamous um, columnists, um, uh, I mean, the, it, it, it's it's still a, a type of cult. Um, and... Uh, um, when when you understand the, the definition of what a cult is, uh, that does fall up under that um, those polygamous colonies. However, however, uh, you know we've seen on TV on the news so, uh, several uh, occasions where uh, the government has gone in or the feds have gone in and they've taken the kids out of the out of the uh, out of the colony. Um, and uh, um, and you you hear uh, uh, the women of the hu- or the wives of the husband um, that just be just going off and crying and then they're trying to interview him. Well, you know how do you deal? Because I love him. Because I love him. He's our caregiver. He's our caretaker. Yeah, I love him. But you had a baby, and the other lady had a baby bomb, and this other lady had a baby bomb. I mean, how do you do with that? Uh, because we 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 take care of each other, and I'm and I'm and I'm and um and I know a lot of things, a lot of a lot of things. Um, uh, the 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 polygamy colonists tend to want to to keep alive. It's really it's selfishness for the bottom line. That's the bottom line. But they want to try to keep alive mm. the Old Testament practice 
of um, where kings uh, had several wives um, and uh, they wanted to keep that alive and all that. But the pro but the problem is, is that they, they fail to recognize is the men and the women fail to recognize that these men are not kings. <laughs> so I mean, if you're gonna keep <laughs> if you're gonna keep the, keep it try to keep it alive, you gotta at least be in the position, the same exact position, because not everybody in the Old Testament had multiple wives. It was just mainly the kings. Um, because you know, because they. I was thinking the same thing. Uh, yeah, it was, just, it, was, it was mainly the king. It was mainly the king. Say, they the one. Ain't that right? Yeah. So you yeah. know, all the little peasants, the peasants, the peasant men in the town only had one wife. It was so you know, it was only royalty that <laughs> that, that you know uh, that had. So these men in these polygamous colonies. Uh, they may feel like they're a king, but actually they're no king because that would mean that that if all the men are having multiple wives, then that means nobody's ruling the land because that's what a king does. And if, and since they don't have one, just one person that will have multiple, that would fit. That would fit if they were trying to keep their practice. But since that since that doesn't fit. And it doesn't fall. That's what they say they're trying to do is keep the Old Testament type practice. But yeah. but that doesn't fit. So therefore, what is it? It's selfishness. And, um, right. you know, and anybody that falls for it, I mean, I mean, that I, I, I you know, it's my, this is going to be offensive. I know, but it's called ignorance. And <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, that's what it's called. It's called ignorance. I mean, uh, you know, we we on the J talk. We tell it like it is, <laughs> um, you know, and mm -hmm. and so uh, and it's really the same thing, you know. Um, you know, I know y'all didn't say it that way, but what y'all were really pointing out was examples of ignorance to stay in there, to stay in there when. You know you're the second, third, fourth, or whatever, um, and because, mm -hmm. um, because you're really, really, truthfully, not many people, unless they've really been brainwashed, really want to be a second or a third or fourth, because you would never. Here's a way, way to know: you would never, and I say net word never, come to the point. To to go in and and ask some somebody, even though you know you in the mix, am I your number one? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> sure, you're my number one right after uh, two yeah. weeks. Am I your weeks. number one? <laughs> so I mean, mm. come on, get real, folk. Come on, come on. All right. That's what one sign yeah, right off the right. bat to know you don't really want to be a second, third, or fourth in the mix. <laughs> so, that's uh, true. That's true. That's true. So, um, what can we, I mean, we don't say it as much as we can about he, she, me, and them. And it's really up to the person. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's really it's up to the side, they go continue, she, me, and them. It's always a deal. Yeah. Well, it's I think it's, it's one side it's we kind of really didn't talk about, and uh, because that does fit in this topic, uh, where where the other person is the same sex, and um, uh, even though it still has pretty. Sometimes it's actually more devastating uh, the effect, but it's still pretty much the same line of effect when it's uh, it, because they are the other person, um, you know. And uh, uh, there was a I, I ran into two ladies uh, two days ago, and it was interesting. You said some sister soldier, you know, because of lack of men and all that, they feel like they need to cling on all that. And these two sisters was talking, 
and um, they uh, and I just overheard them, and I I couldn't help but get in the conversation, you know. I, yeah. uh, but anyway, I um, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but they were talking, and they came up uh, and made some made some statements, make uh, saying, you know, well, girl, you know, you just don't know. Uh, who's a qualified man these days? Uh, who, what men are straight and what men on the down low? You can't, you can't, you can't, you, you can't really tell. And then uh, over half of them are locked up, and then you know, uh, you know. So when they count how many, you know, the ratio, they really, they don't really, they don't really count the ratio as how many straight males to the ratio of women. Is really how many males are available to women, and out of that, then mm -hmm. you have to try to figure out well, how many of them ain't on the down low and straight. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, in other words, when I say down low, that means bi mm -hmm. or straight gay. And I'm just have to t tell it like it is. I don't know if somebody in the in the LG community. They they may not like it, but it's real it's real hard truth. Um, I don't know why so many folk. I mean, it exists, okay. I you know, um, and that's just the life. It you know, homosexuality exists. The gay movement is is very mm -hmm. strong. It exists, all right. Um, but however, what what I'm saying is, if that's what you're gonna be. Don't play on your position if that's where you're going to be. Don't play right. on the position. Be right. honest and be right. straight. Right. Because then you got the ones right. that say they're a uh, bi, and and they'll say in the, they'll say real quick, I'm bi, I'm not gay. But gay is defined <laughs> as you're gay. It, 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 when you mess with the yeah. same sex, yeah. that's can, gay. I can that's tell gay. the females out there how they can differentiate. For the person that's on the down low and as gay, mm -hmm. but we on national fan about saying, <laughs> you know. But y'all can call in at nine three one two two zero seven zero six three, and I tell you, <laughs> the person that's down low and the person that's just really gay. Uh. Oh, okay. We'll let them ask you to say. Call we, in at 931-220-7063. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, there are some ways in where you can tell, especially the male. Um, well, there are, there are ways. Mm -hmm. Because uh, these two ladies, I mean, I jumped in. I was like, what do you mean you can't tell? Well, you know, some of them got their act really together. <laughs> and that is true. Some of them do have their act pretty well together uh because um it's, it's signs you can tell yeah yeah there, there are signs I can see it. There, there are signs i they, can tell they have they have uh um, uh from what i've learned uh there there are i've learned about three types of uh gays you know uh gay male um that includes bi male y'all just heard me say a little while ago but um, <laughs> but, uh, I, and there, there are probably m m more types, but I did learn about three types, the flamers, uh, the semis and the tackies. Okay. And the flamers are the ones that really, the you, you just, huh? Yeah. The tackies. Okay. Uh, the, tacky. the okay. tackies. Yeah. The tackies. And the flamers are the ones that just really, they just blunt out boldly, you know, got the little hand movement and, you know, and, uh, and can you know, this and all, you know, and, and, and as we say, <laughs> tambourine players, okay? Uh, but, uh, tambourine yeah, the tambourine players, that's how, uh, you know, I, I know, mm -hmm. I, I, uh, and then you got the semis, um, who are not like flamers, uh, you know, they they kind of keep their the the masculine, uh, the the masculine position. Um, uh, however, they uh, they 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 definitely are all they are bold in the public to being to 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 portray um, 
their association with that society. Okay, they they they, they don't mind showing public display, but they don't they don't walk around with that just automatically you look at them and you just you see that little twitch and they're walking out they don't have that they don't have all that <laughs> they, they ain't snapping their neck and all that <laughs> yeah, okay but then you got the tackies <laughs> then you have the tackies and and they 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 uh they are very they have their act really really tight they don't do public display uh they keep they keep their position private um I know a few that work even for the police department, and they they and I'm gonna tell you, um, if I did if I was not if I had not been told by people in their family and uh, in their family that they that their family members were gay, uh, uh, and one who's even married to another guy, um, and worked for the police department, they. But they keep it together. I don't say for what whatsoever reasons, but they keep it together. When you talk to them, they they talking very manly. They they and they they got the tact together. You you don't hear no conversation about the you know about the home about the society or none of that. That they keep it private. I'm not saying that they 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 you know they're in hiding. But I just say that they keep it very tactfully in private, and uh, it's they're not out there for public display. So um, you do have those, and uh, um, they had. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember what there was that movie called. I can't even remember now. Uh, it was a good movie. I think it was called Gun. Uh, no, back now. Huh? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I wasn't that one. Go back mountain. Go back mountain. I gotta check that one out. Uh, yeah. yeah. You haven't seen that one? No, I ain't seen that one. I haven't seen that one. <laughs> uh, I gotta go. I, really I gotta, don't want to see it. I gotta check it out. See what's what's up. Yeah, but the dude got his back broke on that mountain, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I. Well, yeah, that's just like, but that's just like in the in the book, um, in the book, The Color Purple. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a movie that a lot of us in the in the black community we celebrate that movie, The Color Purple. Um, but a lesbian relationship, and yeah, but, but in the in the book, um, it was much more explicit about the relationship between Celia and Shook. Um, right, they had more of a lesbian type. Yeah, they they did. They did. It was way more than the little kids that you saw on the screen um, right. for the movie, yeah. Yeah. and you know. Alice Walker <laughs> is now she's out. She, she she's out as a lesbian. But at the time, people had their suspicions, but they weren't sure because she was married. But now she's openly gay, and she wrote about those experiences in that book. Um, that was one of the first things that first time that she's written about a lesbian type relationship, and. Um, yeah, Mister was the kind of the them in that relationship, but that's another you know way of looking at it too because Shook was in a relationship with Mister, mm -hmm. and then Shook was in a relationship with Sally, mm -hmm. in the house all at the same time. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that movie. I don't watch it six times, but I love that movie. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She was in a relationship with both of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a good example. Yep, mm -hmm. sure was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. And kept everybody's secret. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, she sure did. She got her. She was in a relationship where she couldn't get out because Mr. Beat up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. 
didn't really want her. He just wanted somebody to clean up his house and attend his kid. Well, but she really loves Sheila. Yeah. He really mm-hmm. loves Sheila. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. one thing about her, oh, she think about this other dude because she got married. So it's me, he, she, and them. Mm. <laughs> so, like, yeah, think about it. A great example. A great example. Mm-hmm. And, uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, great example. When she, when she left and went to New York or Chicago, whatever she she went, and she took Miss Seeley with her. She t- but before she left, she had went and get married. Okay, then there was no more me, she, and them. Mm. Okay. So she looks about that. She's like, I don't want to be in, you know, this type of relationship. You know, I'm a, I was mm-hmm. a church going girl. My dad was a preacher. I want to have my own, you know, relationship. Mm-hmm. You know, so she had this around to stop the he, she, me, and them, and just had this one guy, and then she stuck to that one guy. Mm-hmm. So the other two, mm-hmm. me and him, they was kind of jealous, you know. <laughs> and then she broke off that relationship, okay? And when mm-hmm. she broke off that relationship, uh, me seeing, which was um, Whoopi Goldberg, see, Mr. Wonder already, he was cracked up to me. Mm. So she left Mr. after threatening to kill him. She had to leave Mr. So she left him. So that broke up that. But think of all the drama that was going to, uh, on at the time that they was having the he, she, and me relationship. So yeah, that's a, that's a very good example right there. Mm-hmm. Until someone break it up. It started off with the sad kick breaking it off. And then when the sad, because the sad kick didn't want to be like that when she seen what's going on. And then it broke off with the you're right now, chick, because she seen how crazy you was, and she couldn't believe how she let a sad <laughs> chick come between you and her. Well, she wasn't crazy about you, no way. And that broke that up. So, yeah, see how much drama they have? That's a good thing that at the time, disease is what is prevalent as it was, or STDs is what is prevalent it is today. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean what is mm-hmm. widespread than it was back then. Right. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's a very good example. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hit it right and that's there. something that you consider too mm-hmm. you know yeah. and when you're in all of this sharing when you're doing all of this sharing you know a condom doesn't protect you from everything mm-hmm. there's stuff that crawling <laughs> that condoms cannot protect you <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> that's that Mm-hmm. 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 You know, it's, it's too much out there mm-hmm. that could cause you to have some serious problems. Yeah. All the sharing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
in the Bible that says forget anything. It says forgive. Mm -hmm. That's right. Why? Because God knows your yeah. mind. You re remember what we say on the show. All right. If you've been been if you been tested and, and found uh not not to be <laughs> mentally retarded, <laughs> mental deficient, that means you got sound mind, uh ability, discernment, mm -hmm. all right. At me, yeah, okay? Right. All right. So, when God knows you got a sound mind and a sound mind, don't forget nothing. All right? Right. Don't so, forget nothing. Don't forget uh, nothing. Now, is it, that's different from forgive. Now, that's forgive, the whole point. If, you know. Mm -hmm. But as you were saying, Lady Kay, you know. I forgive you all the time. <laughs> yeah. But, as but you the thing saying, about it is, is that. With, with me personally, me personally, Lady K personally, mm -hmm. I'm willing to take that walk. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, <laughs> here's what I say about what you, what you, what I'm you, not, your I'm comment. Well, all I got to say about yeah. your comment, Lady I'm K, Lady K, is K is that, I ain't willing to take that walk either. Well, yours too. Uh, mm -hmm. But I'm not. What, but what I got to say about <laughs> that, those comments is that if you decide, if you decide. To accept, okay, and forgive if you decide to. Then don't start complaining about it later, because you, that means you never forgave. <laughs> you you never yeah. forgave. You never did. You, you never forgave. You never did. And, and you never accepted. Mm -hmm. Don't sit there did. and lie to yourself and to the person saying, "Okay, well, I forgive you. All right, I accept your plea." If you complain, that means you never accepted you and you never forgave. So, mm -hmm. so you mm -hmm. stop lying to yourself and say, you, you just make it like you said, Lady K. You gave this make a decision. There's a decision you got to make. Mm -hmm. All right, and be and honest to, to yourself. It. Yep. <laughs> yep. And be honest about it. Yeah, be, be honest. honest about it. I mean, it's like I'm I'm thinking about yeah, your bitch right now when he said. What did he say? When George Bush said, draw a line in the sand. Okay. Draw a line. You know when the kids play that game? Mm -hmm. You draw a line and say, don't cross this line. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. You draw a line. You draw a line in your relationship. And, and that's the whole point. You got to have that conversation and say, look here. This is the line. If you cross this line, then this is what's going to happen. And, and it's not that you're being mean or nasty or anything. You're just letting them know your expectation. Mm -hmm. and, and and I don't see anything wrong with that. You know, mm -hmm. personally, I draw the line and I say, if you do this, then, you know, it's no really coming back from that, honestly, with me. With me, but that's my personal, you know, choice. It's no walking yeah. back from that with me. Okay. You know, you can... It's, it's one thing... Everybody's going to look, okay? Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with a look. Nothing wrong with a look. But once you touch, that's it. You know, and even, even with a look, it's a, it's a blank. I can't, <laughs> can't touch. I can't, I can't even touch a hair. I can't touch a hair. <laughs> I can't, you got some nice hair. I can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Huh. You just said touch. Yeah. I said touch, taste, and smell. Because oh. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, people keep telling myself, well, I don't want my man to look at anybody. I don't want a woman to look at anybody. You got two eyes. <laughs> I, you know, that's <laughs> enough. I'm glad you said that. And we sit there with that. I don't know why people be lying. You're going to look. I don't know why people be lying. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting ready to get like, like, like Sister Soldier. Here, here, here's how Sister Soldier. All right, y'all, listen to me. Y'all see me right here in this screen. Y'all see, listen to me. All right, now, y'all church folk that be saying, I don't be looking at nobody. I'm spiritual. Come on yeah. now. Come on now. Yeah. Uh, come, on, come on, come on, come on. You look. Come on, come on. You come look. On, come on. You look. <laughs> it, you know what? It, it's, you look. Oh, it, it, it's okay. It's okay. Um, 
for people to be now some people can't uh, can't cannot handle another a person who is very genuine and real and and open and i'm saying it's so oh, i believe in my in i believe that it's okay to give a compliment you know you see somebody okay that you know they they look nice all right it ain't mm -hmm. like you sitting there, you know, sitting there with some X-ray, invisible X-ray glass and trying to undress them and see what's behind <laughs> the shirt or see what's behind the dress or see what's inside the pants and all that, trying to figure it out and all that. So, I mean, but your mm -hmm. eyes see what it sees, okay? And, and, uh, see what it sees. Right. And, it, and I do believe compliments are okay. And, um, and I believe it's wonderful when two people have have the assurance of first they got to know who they are if you if you insecure you mm -hmm. you know low self-esteem don't know who you are and all that then you it is it, no way that another person can you be standing beside you or your mate and make a compliment but if you when you when two people mm -hmm. know who they are they got self-esteem they they they're mature uh, mm -hmm. and, and, and all that, then I, it's wonderful that two people can st be standing right next to each other and one or the other, just like, mm -hmm. you know, even the woman, cause I, you know, that's a nice looking man, but, but, but you know, good and well, she don't want him. You know, good and well, she don't want him cause mm -mm. she wants who she's mm -mm. with, but it's okay because yeah, yeah. your eyes see what it sees. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, it's a it's a million nice looking men. It's a million nice looking women. All right, that does not make that does not take you, who your mate is lower than it, everybody else because the truth is there are a lot of beautiful people right. in the world. Okay, and the reason mm -hmm. that the person is with you should be I won't say it is like that all the time because. <laughs> But if they were genuine and it they're with be. you, yeah, if they were genuine and they genuinely are, are, are love you or, and because they chose you out, out of maturity and genuine uh, and being genuine about it and being honest about their choice and to themselves, the, the truth is they chose you because and it most likely was more than, than I said genuine people was most likely a little bit more than your just your beauty um, and and external beauty mm -hmm. um, because there are a lot of external beauties out there um, but there's there mm -hmm. I have to say there are not as many as many in the count of internal beauties out there so um, yeah so you know uh, that's all I'm just I'm just saying just just saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you are so right. All right. <laughs> so, so y'all got anything else to say about about the the triple X? The triple X. Yeah. <laughs> Me, she, and them. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, I like that. So, I like that. Me, she, and them. Yeah, we, oh. we, yeah, we, we hit on everything. It's nothing too much you can say uh -huh. to people other than the warnings and the drama. We do not want to get ourselves into by having me, she, and them, or me, she, and he, or the side chick, or the side man, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Unless you're looking for all that drama and stuff. Yeah. You know. Oh, I got one thing to say. Don't let society or the social media define who you are. You make your own place in this world. You be yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the only way that you will not be involved with the she, she, me, and them. Mm -hmm. Because you will <laughs> see the mm -hmm. Go by yourself mm -hmm. and let thyself be true. Mm. And that's all the way to go. Mm. And take it away, sister. So, I mean, uh, lady, <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe she just went there. 
yes. Yeah, 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 she's right. Day. She's right. Uh, she's absolutely <laughs> correct. She's absolutely correct. You know, um, the only bad part about it is when, like, like Jay said in the beginning, is the two of us, or is it the three of us? And when you thinking it's the two of y'all, and it's actually the three of y'all, that's a very, very bad situation, and it's not fair um, to the person that you're in a relationship with. And by you even doing that right there, you've already shown that person that you really don't care, um, honestly, about their feelings. Um, but when you walk into the situation knowing <laughs> that it's the three or the you, he, and them, then you get exactly what you deserve because you accept it. And once you accept it, anything is anything and everything is available and able to come your way mm -hmm. in your relationship. You open that door. So it's up to you whether or not you open the door or you leave it closed. Mm -hmm. All right, Jay. All right. Well, I, I enjoy these two lovely ladies. You know, I do. I enjoy these two lovely, lovely today. Lovely, <laughs> lovely ladies. Uh, I'll be missing my, my, my co-partner, Mr. Ricky Rick, you know. Uh, mm. uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I ain't got no high five no more. You know, I ain't got no, no high five. <laughs> but anyway, um, but he, I'm sure he'll be back soon. Uh, but anyway, you know, we're at the end of the show. And uh, I guess I'll say my little two cents. Um, uh, somebody probably says it's worth about a half a penny. Um, but, but, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> um, we, um, the thing that what, what I want to say is, is both of y'all had great points. I mean, really, really great points. Um, when it comes down to, to like three people, uh, or more than yourself, um, Really, most of the shows we talk about, it's really more it's dealing with uh, the building of your esteem in yourself, you know, uh, finding your self-worth, uh, knowing who you are. Because the only way you wind up dealing with stuff or, or putting up with stuff is because you, most of the time you don't know who you are. You don't know what your worth is. And if, you really, if you're really putting up with stuff, evidently... You must not think that you or find yourself worth enough to not put up with stuff. And until we actually come to that level, I mean, there, that's the only way we can really find peace and find happiness. Find because we, you know, when we, we're seeking for other folk to make us happy and all that, and when they don't come through, then we find ourselves sometimes feeling lower in our peace and happiness than where we started off in the first time first place you know with them so i yeah. mean so if you don't get your your happiness and your joy and all that before meeting somebody uh and the only way you're going to get that is you got to know who you are you got to find you got to find worth within yourself and uh if you don't yeah. have that before you start hooking up with folk um many times your expectations may be let down because really we're only human and um you know mm -hmm. and nobody's perfect and you know when we set expectations for somebody to meet um you know uh then when it doesn't happen like i said that's what messes us up so um you know even the most promising person can sometimes slip and, uh, uh, you know, we're going to have a show on that. Uh, uh, <laughs> but it can sometimes slip. And <laughs> but all you can do in this life is only hope. Is only hope. And pray. And, and, and like I said, keep hoping that the person that you're with will be led to do the right thing. And But if, 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 it, could yeah. comes, if it comes to that crossroad, you got a decision, baby. You got a decision you got to make. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Two lovely ladies. We out of here. <laughs> <laughs>